Hey guys, it's Emmy and Nate, and today we're going to be talking about three very exciting topics. That is sex, gender, and sexuality, which are three different things, but some people confuse them all as the same thing. They're definitely not the same thing. So first of all, sex. This is not doing the dirty. The sex we are talking about is your genitalia. Yep, so it's basically when you're born, the doctors will put you either in a male or female category based on your genitals. Um, and that's that. It's um, not actually linked to your gender. Yeah, if your sex is male, you usually have a penis. Uh, and if your sex is female, you usually have a vagina. But your sex and gender aren't the same thing. Um, so, coming to gender, um, first of all, to remember, it is fluid and it is not a choice. So, no discrimination based on gender. Um, but gender can go all the way from distinctly male or female yeah. on either side. Yeah, so for male over here, um, stereotypically, very stereotypically just to say, you can sort of have like the blue area, you're very masculine, manly, maleness. Then over on this side, you have like the femaleness, pink, stuff like that. <laughs> pink, unicorns. Um, yeah, generically, like the very male and female stereotypes. Um, and directly in between, you have non-binary, which is where you don't directly identify as one or the other, um, or maybe a bit of both. Um, you can also be gender fluid, which is where you sort of you go like up and down on the spectrum, switch between. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. You have transgender. Transgender, my favourite topic, which is where your sex and your gender do not match up. Um, so I was born as female, but I identify as male. And you also have cisgender, like me, I'm born female and I identify as female, so my sex and my gender do add up, but I do disagree with like the very feminine and masculine gender roles that the society we live in sets for us. Um, and next we're going to talk about sexuality. sexuality, which is also like a fluid spectrum but it's not the same as your gender. However, it is also not a choice. So no discrimination either? No. Um, so you can be heterosexual, which is where a man and a woman like each other, um, generally both cisgender. Um, it's the very like mainstream idea, you see heterosexuality in the majority of stuff you will consume such as like the media, films, books, TV shows, a lot of the characters, especially in the past, are heterosexual. Yeah. Because this is like the mainstream ideology that society like promotes. Yeah. Um, LGBT stuff is only sort of coming. It's sort of, it's been around for like a while, but it's becoming a bit more mainstream at the moment. Yeah. Not like massively, but it's getting more of a representation. Definitely, yeah. Um, so you can also have homosexual, which is the, the other, the other end of the, sorry, I just, <laughs> <laughs> um, other end of the spectrum. So yeah, so homosexual is when two people of the same sex like each other. Or you can have um, oh, like bisexual, pansexual. which is where you like both. Pansexual. The difference between bi and pansexual is that pansexual includes trans people, such as myself. Yeah. Um, Bisexuality can include this, but it it's can. more. Pr it's predominantly more just like cis male or female, but it can still be quite fluid depending on the individual and how they want to identify. Yeah. Um, you can also have asexual, which is um, like they you, don't. You're not sexually attracted to anyone. Yeah, well, you just don't have sexual feelings. It doesn't yeah. um, dictate whether you're attracted to men or women yeah. or um, anyone who identifies any other way. Um, it's just you'd rather be in a romantic relationship than sexual. Well, I think I explained this right. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like I just blurted out, you're not distracted to anyone. <laughs> That's not necessarily the case. There's also a really good documentary that was on Netflix, I don't know if it still is, on asexuality called Ace, and I would recommend you watching it. Because um, the LGBT community, when asexual first 
like when asexual people first wanted representation. I think it was like 2006 or 7 from the documentary, like they were sort of very excluded from the community as well. Because yeah. people were like, oh, how can you not like sex? <laughs> um, but it's a really good documentary, I would highly recommend if you're interested in learning more about asexuality. So just important to add, the labels are easy. You, it's to okay to label easier. yourself. But they're not important and people shouldn't feel like they have to stay within their labels. I know sometimes there is a bit of hate um, even within within the LGBT community. Um, say if somebody is a gay man and then they find themselves attracted to a woman, this doesn't like mean that they're not gay anymore. This doesn't mean that they're out of the gay community. Um, you know, sexuality can be fluid and you should respect other people's decisions and who they're attracted to because yeah. it's not a choice. Um, and also not stereotyping people based yeah. on their sexuality or on their gender. Yeah, it's alright if you do fall into these stereotypes and you should embrace yourself how you want to but it's alright if you don't fit into like these stereotypes either. Like there's a stereotype like gay men are very flamboyant, glittery, yeah. quite femme but you can still be that and be gay and that's completely fine you can still be masculine and be gay as well that's completely fine you can be a trans guy and be gay that doesn't make you any less of a gay man yeah oh and important on the, my lovely trans topic which is um so i am a trans guy and i am attracted to a lady and that would make me a straight trans guy. Um, if I was a trans guy attracted to men, this would make me a gay trans guy. Um, yeah. Some people seem to get confused on this. Um, and yeah. Don't discriminate. Don't hate. Sorry if we missed out any gender or sexuality. Um, we didn't represent you within this video because I know there's a lot more genders and sexualities out there that it's we may not be trying to give up kind of brief overview of sex versus gender versus sexuality. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you were confused about the differences and you needed a bit more of like an understanding on it. And I hope you found this video like educational, informative and enjoyable at the same time. So remember to like and subscribe if you want more videos similar to this one and the other videos on our channels. Goodbye. Bye.